welcome back to my channel so I want to work on a gathered skirt for one of the garments I want to make for Black History Month now this is the fabric I'm going to use I love love this fabric it one it feels it feels really soft and then two I love the different hair sizes on there I love the fact that it is definitely representing the culture so in order to do this skirt i want to take the time to be able to do a mock-up of the skirt on my half dress form so this is my half size dress form her name is nicole and i've had her for a couple months now and i love her i love the fact that i can be able to try out certain garments out on her and be able to transform those different changes that i've made to my sloper to create what i want to be able to create so this is the sloper for Nicole. This is her skirt sloper. So this is the back and this is the front, okay? And I've used this sloper on different occasions. She already has a um, top made, a blouse for her made and also a skirt, but I wanna make a gathered skirt. So the first thought I had was that I can just use a method to be able to cut and spread all of this to be able to make a gather skirt. And I was like, Jermise, that is time consuming. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a very different way, um, an easier way to make a gather skirt that will allow me to make a skirt quickly um, and make sure it fits, okay? So what we're gonna do first, we're actually going to take her measurements. So to make this gather skirt, you need the following things. And let's go over materials first, and then we'll talk about measurements. So for the materials you need, of course, you need your fabric, okay? Um, I would advise you to, this is some fabric that, very, very cheap fabric that I got from Joann's that I'm using to play with garments for Nicole, okay? So make different garments. Um, for her, I am going to go ahead and use this you need about three times your hip or waist measurement. If you have a fuller hip and you're looking for a very full skirt, then go ahead and use your hip measurement to be able to determine how much fabric you would need. Um, if you want some gathers, but you don't want it completely full, then go ahead and use your waist measurement. If your waist, is, waist measurement is less than your hip measurement. So you need fabric. You need a good pair of scissors, okay? Um, these are my fabric scissors, but I'm also going to use... Sorry, I just heard my phone ring. I'm also going to use um, this type of scissors. I can't even think of the name right now, but I think it was a rotary scissors, and I have never went back to regular scissors unless I need something very quick. So this is also going to be a part of what I use. You're also going to need a ruler, okay? You're going to need a ruler because you're going to have to measure some things, all right? So I like to have my clear ruler all the time just in case I need to measure something really quick and also when I'm making patterns. Um, I'm going to ask my little helper here, my Kyren, can you hand me this measuring tape, please, sir? Mm-hmm. Good job you're also going to need measuring tape, okay? Measuring tape is going to allow you to take your measurements, and in this case, it's going to be Nicole's measurements. And you're going to need a zipper. So there are a couple of zippers I'm going to, you could use. For this particular skirt, I'm going to use an invisible zipper. For Nicole, she may or may not get a zipper. It just depends on how long it takes me to make this skirt. All right, guys, but for your regular project, you would need, I would advise, an invisible zipper, okay? All right, let's get started. The measurements we need to take is going to be the waist measurements, okay? And what I do like about this half 
size dress form is that it lets us know exactly where the waist is. So Nicole's waist measurements, okay? Put it all the way around and your your waist is right kind of right above your belly button an inch from your belly button so her waist measurement let me see so i can actually read it it's going to be 18.5 okay that is her west waist west huh, my gosh waist measurement i don't know why i had that twisted right there now in addition in addition to her waist measurement i'm going to write that down so 18.5 we're also going to take her hip measurements now the hip is the fullest part of your hip all right and this will be her hip and her hip measurement comes out to 23, okay? So 23 inches, guys, I'm using inches. And then I also need to discuss how long I want my skirt. Now, for this particular skirt, because Nicole, um, she doesn't have all of her legs, all right? Um, we're going to make sure that she's covered though, but her skirt is going to be about 10 inches. Okay, and I did that on the side. You will also want to know what length your skirt is before starting. So 10 inches. All right, so now I got my measurements written down. I'm going to put Nicole away for a moment so we can start working on cutting out everything and doing the measurements actually on the fabric. All right, okay. No, it can't see me. It just sees the fabric, which all I want them to see right now is the fabric. All right, guys. If you hear me talking to someone in the background, it is Mike Hyron. Um, we are <laughs> working this process together. All right, so this is my fabric. In the real world, I would have ironed this out so it can be completely straight before I start this. Now. Um, we have our waist measurement that is going to tell us we need 18 inches. All right. So 18.5. So I have starting here, you can't see it cause it's clear, but starting here to here, this is 18. So I'm going to get much my tailor chopped and put it right there. And then I'm going to add that half an inch so I can get 18 and a half and that is the width of Nicole all right and then we're gonna go from the top to the bottom and the length of how long I want this skirt is going to be 10 inches are you coming to look and see what I'm doing okay so 10 inches so this is going to be the length and I'm actually going to draw this out so I know exactly what I'm looking at okay now my hip measurement okay so this is going to be the width the waist measurement okay the length and then I'm actually going to go ahead and put out what my oh that is not straight what my waist my hip measurement is going to be all right so that's 18 here Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. all right now, because I do want a fuller skirt, I am going to use this 23 inches for the waist of the skirt because I want a very full gather, okay? 
and I did it down to 10 inches, which is the length. Now, we're gonna have to do some math here, all right? So we're gonna do 23 times three, so to know how much fabric I'll need. So nine and six. So 69 inches, all right? Do you need your tape? Do I need my tape? No. Yeah. This? <laughs> Do I need my tape measure? Yeah. Um, well, this is because what I thought about. That isn't long enough. Because that isn't long enough, you're right. So what I want to do, Kyra, I'm actually going to take that 69, right? And I'm going to divide that by two. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay. 69 divided by two is three, six. A little math here because for some reason I thought this was a good idea to do on TV. And then that is going to be eight, no, four. <laughs> so 34 inches, a little over 34 inches. Mm. all right so why i'm doing that is because i already have two because this is double this is folded in half so i already have it yes all right so i'm going to take that and since you want me to use my measuring tape i'm going to hold it right there and i want you to bring me down to 34 34 right there all right let's mark it all right i'm bringing down the 34 now one of the things that i want you always to account for is your seam allowances okay so we're going to need seam allowances all right and that allows me to be able to sew and still get that measurement okay so what I'm gonna do for my seam allowances, I think I want to add a half an inch on each side, all right? So I'm going to go here, so that's 34, and because I need a half an inch, I'm gonna go ahead and do 35. So that gives me two half an inches, all right? Now, with that 35, I still need something else, Kyron. So, I need, I want my skirt to be 10 inches length, but I also got to add a hem on that. So, what I'm going to do, and this will probably be a little easier um, when you are doing sizing for... sizing for yourself rather than have um scale dress form because you wouldn't you're probably using all of this especially for the length instead of just this piece um but i'm gonna go ahead and measure all this out all right and then in addition to measuring all this out i am going to add an inch okay because I want that for my hem. Now, I should say this, and let me, because I forgot to say this out loud. I'm only adding half of what I would normally add to my, my measurements because I'm doing this as a half scale, okay? All right, you wanna go see if your video game's ready? Okay, go check on Jenna. So I'm actually going to do a half an inch adding, but when you add to your hem, add an inch, okay? And I probably should have explained that in the beginning. Now that I have everything, right? I have an allowance for my zipper. I have my hem for it. I'm also taking into consideration that with one of the pieces I'm actually going to 
um, cut it in half because I also want to do pockets. I probably won't do pockets on this, but on my real one, I'm going to end up cutting it in half because I do want pockets. So given that I have all of that, add some weights on this so it doesn't slide. you also wanted to do this on um all this drawing that i'm doing you always want to do it on the wrong side of your fabric i just this is for nicole and it's just gonna be quick and easy all right what are you doing no. nothing all right so Remember, this is for my half scale dress form, so that's why it is little, but we have already doubled what we need for the width, and we have already put in the hem and the length. So, the only other thing we need to do, and that's what we're going to use the rest of this piece for, so, we need to... All right, I'm gonna lay that aside. We need to make a waistband, okay? So her waist is 18.5 inches. So with Nicole's waist being 18.5 inches, I am going to do, so I'm just gonna need 18 inches of this plus um, an extra mm -hmm. inch for sides, so. And ruler and I'm going to do a half an inch because what I'm going to end up doing is folding it over for my regular um, gather skirt I'm going to do an inch for my waistband and then it's going to be folded over so I'll show you what I'm talking about so that gives me and then I need an extra gives me enough to be able to put in my zipper and I think I'm actually going to do a zipper on this so we can talk about a good way to do a zipper all right guys okay I got all my material cut out um I do like to have a moment with my waistband just to make sure I'm not crazy right so just make sure everything is supposed to fit like it's supposed to this is her waistband and it gives me enough so I can be able to tighten it in there and have enough for for the zipper okay so that's where we're gonna fall and I like it I may even pull her up a little bit because I do like a high-waisted skirt right and it still gives me everything that I need okay so that's what she'll fall so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to my sewing machine and I'm going to do my gathers. Um, and guys, we'll go from there. 
I turned it on and for me, my sewing, where I'm going to start sewing is always at one. It's not the center for me is going to be on the left side, but that's what works for, best for me. But it, what I'm going to do first is I am going to sew my side seams together. Now, remember, I told you guys I wanted to put in pockets on the side. So although I didn't go ahead and do the pockets, I wanted to do this skirt pretty much how I plan to do this skirt um, on my full size gather skirt. All right. So I went ahead and cut my sides out so I can just remember, remind myself that that is something I'm supposed to do. And then I'm going to get this wonderful thing and I'm doing it in half of an inch. And I'm going to go ahead and sew. Now for this particular one, do I need a Do I need pins? No, so I'm not gonna do pins, but I'm gonna go ahead and sew. And I'm gonna back stitch. So one of the things I try to get in the habit of doing, no matter what I'm sewing, is make sure I'm cutting off my strings so it reminds myself when I'm actually sewing to do the same thing. All right, so this is seam one. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side seam. Now, the one thing I'm not doing is for this, because I just want it to be kind of a how-to of what I need to do and make sure I can do all the steps correctly. Um, I'm not pressing my seams. So when I do the real garment, I am going to take the time and press my seams for every step that I go through, okay? All right, so since that's done, my next step is going to, I am going to take my machine and I'm gonna put it on the largest, the longest, not largest, the longest length for my stitches, which is the five for me. I'm gonna pull out some thread so I can make sure that I have enough to gather. Now, technically you're supposed to do two, two base, um, stitches to be able to pull and do your gathers, but I'm only going to do one because this is my mock up. Okay, when you do the two, it makes it stronger. I'm not going to back stitch. And then I'm going to pull so I can have enough of my thread, all right? All right, now that I'm here, this is gonna take the most part. I'm gonna take one of my pieces of thread and I'm gonna pull. And when I pull, I'm gonna move my fabric down, okay? And that's when you are going to start to make gathers. All right. You don't want to pull it too hard because you don't want to pop it. 
but you do want to go ahead and make those gathers nice and tight. All right. So when you look, I always say this reminds me of the curtains in my grandmama's house, right? The curtains that they used to make back in the day, and you see these tight gathers and they'll be in there. Okay. So that's what you want. So then I'm going to grab my waistband. Now, one of the things that I forgot to say when you were doing your waistband is you want to remember to give yourself enough seam allowance on your edges. So you already doing it for your back seam, right? For your back where your zipper is going to go. But you also want to make sure that you do it on both of these sides because what's going to happen is one, you're going to make You're going to sew this together and then the other one you're going to end up under stitching okay so when i do this i want to make sure all of my seams all of my gathers are even so i'm going to actually pin i'm going to pin here all right and then i'm going to pin on the end Because my gathers are not going all the way to the end because I still need to put in my zipper. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is just start evening out my gathers along my band. And if there's a place that's not sitting comfortably, don't be afraid to go and put a pin in there because you want to make sure that you are getting everything in your in your waistband for your seam. Okay.
So if you come to the end and you still need some stuff that needs to be gathered, go through and pull one of your strings, one of your threads, okay? Okay, so all of theirs in there, they look pretty even, and they're on my waistband, okay? So, I'm going to go back, make sure you, now you can do these in one or two ways. Because I've been doing this for a while, I am not going to base, but you can go ahead and you can base this down, see how you like it, and then if you like it, go ahead and stitch. Um, this is my mock-up and, um, I've done gather skirts before, so I'm not going to base. I'm just going to move my threads out of the way and I'm going to go ahead and sew it down. So, All right. So after this, one of the things that I like to do at this point is go ahead and pull out my base. My basing stitch.
so I can clean up the skirt a little bit. All right, so at this point, I would go and I would press my skirt, the seam, I would press it up, okay, and then get ready to do my zipper. So for my zipper to make sure that I have a clean zipper, I do like to go ahead and baste it. And then right about here, I'm just going to continue my stitch for the back of the skirt. So, so if you're doing this on your actual skirt, a good way to get a very clean line is to make sure that one, all of this is lined up, okay? So like this lined up pretty well. And then you're gonna go and you're gonna press this seam open. Now, once you press this seam open, press it with my fingers I'm going to grab I am going to grab a invisible zipper, okay? So, alright. So, let's try this again. One, I'll make sure I'm on the right side. Um, I'm on pin. Let me bring 
Alright, so what can I paint today? Nails in my way as I'm trying to pin this. All right. The other thing I I do <laughs> I do do um, is I will go and I will iron um, my zipper open because it allows it to lay flat and helps out in so many ways. All right, I'm gonna also switch out my foot and I am going to base with my zipper foot first, okay? And I know everybody has different ways of how they execute this. This is just the way I've learned that really works for me well, okay? center on this this helps me get a close fit when I'm basing close stitch I probably can go faster, but sometimes invisible zippers scare me. So I always want to take my time to make sure I do what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Now this zipper is not going all the way to the bottom actually too long so I'm gonna stop there I'm actually gonna so I'm gonna to move I'm gonna back stitch a little bit and cut all right so when I do this close my zipper and I am going to look and see where everything lines up, right? So when I pin this, just be right there. To make sure everything lines up and I wish I had my smaller chalk to be able to do this all right so then I'm gonna look back and see this is really not that far down So I'm going to open up that basting stitch that I did.
All right, just want to make sure everything, all right. So then open this up. All right, so I'm gonna look where my lines are, right? And make sure my lines are together so that I can baste. The other side. All right, so once I do that, I know there's a lot of steps to stick with me. And I definitely know there's easier ways out there to do this, but it helps me to make sure all of my stuff is good. All right, so. A look and it looks like everything is lined up like it's supposed to we're good all right so this point All right, so since everything looks good, I am going to switch out my foot again. And I am going to get my invisible super foot, okay?
All right. Okay. Some of this good. Okay, so I want to talk about this. So sometimes when you're you don't see, make sure that your fabric has not caught itself in your zipper. Okay, because that's exactly what this did. So, we need to redo. So, seam ripper to the rescue. And sometimes that happens when you're doing your gathers. Um, for a gathering skirt, because it's not laying flat and... Just kind of pulled itself in all right so i'm gonna do this again making sure that my girl over here does not catch itself okay Because all of this is making me nervous. All right. All right, you see? 
And then I'm gonna do the same to this side. All right. Okay, so then that's the invisible zipper. All right.
Okay. So, the next thing you want to do is you want to fold your waistband under. And when you do that, first go ahead and press whatever your seam allowance is. You press it so it'll make it be easier to catch. And then you fold under and then you enclose your your waistband, okay? So this will be your waistband. You can do several things. You can do where it is a slip stitch where you slip some, you catch some of the fabric and bring it out and sew down the hem. You can do a top stitching where you just go ahead and turn this way. Um, I usually take a pin and I'll pin it on the other side to catch it to make sure I ca caught both everything I needed to when I stitch and then do a top stitching on this side or you can stitch in a ditch and it's the same thing all right because you want to finish that and the last thing you want to do is finish your hem all right let me guys let me show you what she looks like on the mannequin